Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to him. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at race, hitting you with the beautiful jabs, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. You want to fight? Get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Masvidal is seven years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <coughs> If he's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, come out for you. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match in the Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicking. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big awesome punch land. Now we get back to range. While he continues to stay busy, what do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh! Nice punch, man, over the top. one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious. One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. 
Game Bread gets caught by that straight punch there. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big knee! of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, Masvidal in a row. Masvidal says got full mount now. Back to his feet. That's such a fast leg. Some hit. real power shots here. Under a minute to go. And what has been a while. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible Deadwards gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. 20 seconds to go in round one. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. jab there from Leon Edwards, and if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're gonna start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this game. Absolutely, and the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at a game for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in, as he's doing his work now inside the option. Oh, nice jab. Great punch, landed with so much power. Edwards' his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. 73 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Well, the accuracy rate, you'll have to take my word for it, DC, but 59% on the connections thus far against Leon Edwards. Edwards gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just over. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And now Masvidal's back in full mount. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And he's out. Trying to set up a submission now. He's gonna tag armbar here. Oh, nice job using his nice little gun. Game break 
gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Marcina. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock...